the graph below best represents which of the following relationships between temperature and time. So as time is going on, you can see that in the graph, the temperature is increasing at first, it gets all the way up to the top, and then boom, it switches down and starts to decrease. So let's see which one of these works. Oven temperature while a cake is baking. Well, what if we left the temperature at 350? Well, the temperature would stay the same all the way through the process until we turn it off at the end. But what about if the temperature of the water, of some water, is heated on the stove? So you start to heat it, it starts to get hotter, hotter, and hotter. And then when you remove it, boom, that's the point where it stops increasing and then it starts to decrease in temperature because you're allowing it to cool. So the answer is B. All right, a rectangle has a length. So we're going to draw a rectangle here. It has a length of 2x plus 1 and a width of 5x minus 4, so we're going to label these parts of the rectangle. Which expression best represents or describes the area? So area is length times width. So we're going to multiply the length and the width of these two guys together, and if you remember, this is going to be a multi-distribution problem. So we'll write it out, length times width. Start with the 2x, so we're going to do 2x times 5x first, 2x times 5x, 10x squared, 2x times negative 4 is negative 8. Now we're going to distribute the 1. 1 times 5x, well, that's just positive 5x. And then 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. We need to combine like terms. We have the negative 8x and the positive 5x. So negative 8 plus 5, that would make negative 3. So negative 3x, rewrite what you have left, and then match up your answer. C. Okay, number three, which best describes the effect on the graph of f of x equals 4x plus 8 if the y-intercept is changed to negative 3? So f of x is the same as y equals, so we're going to type in the first one, 4x plus 8, and then I bolded the second graph. We're going to change that 8 to a negative 3, and let's see what happens to the graph here. Let's look at our answer choices. Did the slope decrease? No, because both of the slopes are 4. The new line passes through the origin. It did not pass through the origin. Look at the x-intercepts where it crossed the x-axis. You see over here it crosses like at negative 2 and then it goes to positive 1. So that is our answer. Okay, we want to see if what the value of x is if we have the value of y is negative 4. So we've been talking about if you get an equation, put it in y equals. So we're going to move the 4x over. And then at the very end, we're going to divide by negative 5. So that's going to put it in y equals and then graph it. Put it in y equals and graph it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at the table here and see if we can find out what the value of x is when the value of y is negative 4. So let me go in here. We'll type it in the calculator. You could clean it up. You could say negative 4 divided by negative 5 is positive. But I want to show you in this case, if you struggle with that, if you put parentheses around your fractions, the calculator will do that for you. So we're going to go to the table here. Accidentally hit the graph button. So we'll go to the table. Find where y is negative 4. And we want to figure out what corresponding value of x is with that. And if you look, it's negative 3. Alrighty, here we go. We are on question five, the area of a rectangle. So another rectangle problem. Draw a rectangle. This time they're telling you the area, which is the end, we'll call it the inside, is 30 m to the 11th n to the 5th. If the rectangle has a length of 6 m to the 4th n squared, so I'll put that on the outside, how many units wide is the rectangle? So our answer choices are going to be the missing side length. So if you remember, area is equal to length times width. So we have to just start with the basic number. Start with 6 times what is going to give me 30. Well, 6 times 5 is 30, so we already know the answer is A. But if you're working backwards in a problem like this, you can take the area and divide it by one of the side lengths, which I'm doing here, and it'll automatically give you the answer. And then don't forget, when you're dividing with exponents, you're actually subtracting the exponents whenever you have the same base or the same letter. So... 11 minus 4 is 7, 5 minus 2 is 3, and you'll see that bring you back to the same answer as well.